Good afternoon. Today I want to talk to you about lists. We make lists every day. Sometimes they are in our head, shower, eat breakfast, brush your teeth. Sometimes we write them down, do the laundry, water the plants, go to the store. We make lists to help manage our time, our agenda, so we don't forget to do the important things. Otherwise, going to the store becomes an afterthought, something easily accomplished this day or the next. But that's not the case for everyone. For thousands of people in Salem, going to the grocery store to get healthy food is not an item to be ticked off the list, but an hours-long ordeal. These residents experience a confluence of barriers to access. They live far from stores with healthy food options, they have low access to vehicles for transportation, and the neighborhoods where they live do not even have safe and convenient routes to walk or bike to the store. What they do have are convenience stores with unhealthy food options and fast food restaurants. We are familiar with the consequences of this systemic lack of access to healthy food. Adult obesity rates of 42% in the U.S. are even higher for Latinx and non-Hispanic Black residents, who experience greater food insecurity across the nation. These obesity rates lead to some of the leading forms of preventable and premature death, heart disease, stroke, type 2 diabetes, and certain types of cancer. These outcomes are predictable, and the patterns are known. Communities suffering from food insecurity know these problems. Scientists know these problems. So why do the patterns persist? Having safe and convenient routes to healthy food for everyone in our community remains a challenge because it has not made it onto the list of things to do, the agenda, it is not on the agenda for many of the most powerful people because they think the problem is too complex to solve. There is truth in that. There is a lot to do. Building more affordable grocery stores in low-income neighborhoods, creating avenues to driver's licenses and affordable car insurance for everyone, making our sidewalks and streets safer for people on bikes and on foot. Making these changes happen will require the work of many people in many places. But there is something you can do today to start that change. Our political leaders hold the power to change many of these structural barriers, and their agenda, what changes they want to make, is determined by the public's agenda, what is important to us. And our agenda, in turn, is influenced by the media's agenda, what people are talking about. You have influence in the media. What you record and share is seen by thousands of people who want to imitate your actions. We want you to help us harness that power to shape the media's agenda and make change through the Find Your Route campaign. Step one is to use the viral power of TikTok to get people talking about safe routes to healthy food, even if it's in a silly way. Make a dance challenge, share a short story, make it simple and make it fun. Building name recognition for the campaign will help viewers engage with educational content when they see it. Step two is to spread information. Share these images that will help people find their route, learn about others in their community who don't have safe routes, and share what they found. Step three is to act. Show up to Walk Your Route Day. Join with community leaders, business owners, and residents as we walk the worst route in the city and call for safe routes to healthy food for everyone in Salem. Change is hard. Starting is easy. Join the Find Your Route campaign today.